In this video, I'm going to show you how to subnet by the number of hosts or by the number of PCs that are required. This is the method that we'll start to use more and more often, especially when we get to the variable length subnet mask style. If you remember from the, the previous video, the subnetting by location video, I said that locations are ones in the left hand side of the line, and PCs or hosts are zeros in the right hand side of the line. Our method is essentially the same, except we're going to be working right hand side of the line now, and we're going to be working with, with zeros. So your first step is to drop your chart, and I already have that up on the board. Your next step is to figure out your host requirement. And sometimes I'll just give, give that to you, or sometimes you'll have to add up the number of PCs. But I'll just pretend here that uh, we have 50 PCs as our requirement. So it does not matter to us how many locations we get out of this. We just know that each location that we have, we want to have at least 50 PCs. So what I do is I take a look at my chart and ask myself, two to what power is going to give me at least 50 PCs? And in our case here, it's 2 to the 6th. 2 to the 6th. 2 to the 6th is 64, and that's more than enough for our 50 PC requirement. So what I do is I draw out my IP address with six zeros right-hand side of the line now. Okay, we're working PCs, working right-hand side of the line, we're working with zeros. So I draw out that IP address, 200.4.3, right-hand side of the line with six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need at least, or I always have to have eight bits in that last octet. So I'm essentially borrowing two bits in this scenario. Method's still the same. Make everything zeros right underneath that. That gives us our first network ID, which is zero. Change the right hand side to all ones. Figure out what that number is in decimal, and that number in decimal is 63. And now I essentially have my pattern that I can continue on with. One more than 63 is 64. Add my difference of 63 onto that, 127. One more than 127 is 128. Add 63 onto that, that's 191. One more than 191 is 192. Add 63 onto that, I'm 255. The subnet mask for all of those different ranges and locations right up here at the very top, and that's where it's always going to be. Started with a slash 24, here's my 25th and my 26th one. So I have a slash 26, convert a slash 26 back into decimal, and it's a triple 255 dot, a 128 and a 64 to 192. Triple 255 dot 192. Two. So you can see the, the method is essentially the same, we're just working the right hand side of the line and we're working with the zeros. One thing that we do need to be aware of though, is if you remember looking at these ranges here, like 0 through 63, I cannot use the 0 and I cannot use the 63 to assign to a PC. So I am essentially losing two addresses. So I said 2 to the 6th, which is 64. What I need to start doing is subtracting 2 off of each one of these numbers because I cannot use that first and I cannot use that last. So if I told you that I needed 8 PCs, eight PCs, I couldn't go and choose 2 to the 3rd because 2 to the 3rd would end up giving me a range like this, 0 through 7. Yeah, it's eight total numbers in size here, but I can only use the addresses of one through six for my PCs, which ends up leaving me short for my eight PC requirement. So for eight PCs, I would have to bump up and use two to the fourth. So if I chose eight PCs, I'd do two to the fourth, four zeros, right-hand side, One, two, three, four. I draw my line. Five, six, seven, eight. Figure out my range. 
equals zero through, make my right hand side all ones, eight, a four, a two, and a one, that is 15. I have a slash 25, 26, 27, 28, a slash 28, and I can continue my pattern to figure out my other locations here. And so on. So remember, our method is essentially the same. Figure out how many PCs that you need. Figure out the power number for that number of PCs. Remember, we can't be right on or even one less because we have to bump up to the next power number. And that power number is going to tell me how many zeros, right hand side of the line. Uh, the rest of the method is essentially the same as, as before. What if I happen to tell you that I need 200 PCs? What am I going to do for 200 PCs or even 500 PCs? My chart doesn't get that big. What do I do in that scenario? When I work with a larger number, essentially what I need to do is extend my chart and I end up working with two octets instead of just the one on the right hand side. So let me show you what I mean. Let's pretend that I need 500 PCs. That's my host requirement. 500 PCs. And you'll see this a lot. This is known as working with a class B type of network. My requirement would, or my network ID that they give me would change. I would start with a 200.4.0.0 with a slash 16. So now I have two octets that I can work with. But my host requirement is 500. What do I do? I extend my chart. 2 to the 8th is 256. Again, I double as I go to the left. 2 to the 9th is 512. So for 500, I would choose 2 to the 9th. That 9 is telling me 9 zeros, right-hand side. So I draw my IP address with those 9 zeros on the right-hand side. Here they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot, 9, Draw my line, 10, 11, 12, 13, I'm going to run out of room here, 14, 15, 16. I had to put my dot in here because each octet can only have 8 bits. So I have 8 zeros dot, there's my ninth zero. I draw my line, and then I need 7 more ones because it needs uh, 8 bits in this octet. 8 bits in that octet. And now I figure out my range just like I did before. Make everything zeros underneath. And now this number here is 0 dot 0. So now you can see I'm working with one more octet there. Through, make my right hand side ones like I did before. This first number here, seven zeros and one is just one. So one dot eight ones is 255. Now I can figure out my, my, the rest of my ranges from that same pattern. Um, one more than one dot 255 is 2.0. I can't have a 1.256. The bit patterns don't work like that. So you need to spill over into that other octet. So one more than 1.255 is 2.0. One more than 4.255 would be 5.0. So 1.255, I add a 1.255 onto that, which would be 3.255. One more than 3.255 is 4.255. Add my 1.255 onto that, that's 5.255. And that would go all the way uh, basically until 254.0 through 255.255. 255. So each one of those ranges is going to give me 510 hosts that I can have on each network. 
how many possible networks am I going to have? How many bits do I have left-hand side of the line? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 128 networks that I could draw all out. So the number of ones that I have on the left-hand side tells you how many networks I have. The number of zeros I have on the right-hand side, minus two, because I can't use the first, I can't use the last, tells me how many uh, PCs I can have on each one of those networks. So when you get to these larger networks, just know you're going to be working with two or maybe even three octets. And uh, the process is essentially the same. You just need to extend your chart so you can figure out which power number uh, that you need. I hope you have a little bit better sense of how subnetting works for PCs and, or for hosts after watching this video. If you still have questions or need some one-on-one -on -one attention with this, uh, please let me know. This is a very valuable skill that you'll need uh, for this class and continuing into your other uh, three Cisco classes. Uh, thanks for watching.